Kind day to you all, I am Kinsmark, and I come to you once again for some more Tiger Knight Empire War. Charging into command mode once again. Fresh from the arena, and steeled for combat. I have, however, first something to activate, because I've actually enjoyed the fact that as server issues arise, as came up in the last episode, the developers of this game are actually fairly generous as far as compensation for players that have their experience interrupted is concerned, handing out free items fairly commonly for it. In this case, a one-day free VIP experience card. So, I shall activate that, that I might enjoy greater spoils of war from this combat that I shall commence presently. Alright, I've generally met with fair success on this map in the past, because I like the fact that there's a fair amount of clear sight lines for the acquisition of targets, so... Let's see here. Yeah, the, uh, the chat here is mentioning something, that it seems like the staggering of tiers in this game is every couple of tiers, so that commonly uh, tiers 1 and 2 will get grouped together, 3 and 4, etc. as it carries on, and so it seems like the uh, luck of the draw can sometimes sort of uh, screw one's advantages should one connect to a match composed of almost entirely uh, sort of like lower half of the tier scale allies especially if one is opposed with enemies that are a little luckier. Right, so he's captured that. Let's see. Ah, they already have control of it. Right. So it seems like they've all concentrated here. Perhaps... Archer's keeping his distance. He's playing safe. So, I suppose I'll just carve my way into the melee then. Abilities and uh, start a chopping. There we are. Right. Maybe actually ambush player. Also keeping their distance. And again, stuttering and server issues. This is concerning because. I had played this just a day ago and hadn't encountered this. So, apologies for the last few episodes I had this issue. There we go. Cool. My eyes are certainly taking the upper hand here. Player. All right, you can keep his distance. I'll aid and capture. Get the ability again, because they have sent in reinforcements. There we go. Clean them out. All right. Purchase a few more units, because I think this, just assuming from that icon, costs a little in the way of copper. However, one can actually supplement one's forces that way. So, completely worth it, in my opinion. Considering the advantages of actually succeeding in combat are significant. Right, cool. Forced his retreat. So, for now, let's just secure this advantage. I hate to leave allies stretched out at the front line like that. Then again, this guy is just sort of camping out. I think he is AFK. There we go. A little archery defense. Now I'll charge once again to the front lines. Cool. I think I might finally actually achieve some semblance of victory in an episode for the channel. Cool. Because this is the sort of experience I've actually had the most of. I swear to you! Alright, cool. So we've driven them all the way to their camp, apparently. So, yeah. Once I close, I'll order the raids. Command my troops to charge and scatter them. That I might clean them up like so much detritus as they attempt to flee. Charge, men! Hello. 
on how your day is about to get terrible. Oh, run as you may! I shall catch you. There we are. Cool. Let's flare up that morale cooldown. Come, men. Charge them! Smash them with sticks! Ignite the fire coursing through your veins! There we are. Cool. One of their players yet lives. Because the conditions for victory are either kill all of the opposing players, or their NPC commanderial marshal. And there he is! Let's finish him! There! Finally! Absolution is mine! Ah. I am inordinately proud of that. Especially considering all of us were tier 3. Alright! I can finally feel proud of my performance in this game! Cool. So, I actually made a fair amount. Jeez, I made over 1500 experience for the Anjo Sailors. Sweet. Alright. As much as I might like to continue that streak of victory, I'll attempt to keep these episodes from stretching inordinately long. So, since I'm in the way to play this game, and again, a lot of you guys have commented that you enjoy my coverage of it, because apparently people like listening to my voice. That's still a compliment I'm getting used to hearing, even having done this for, at this point, years. Um, and it just seems like, because I've looked at this point, um, there just aren't that many people covering this game. I suspect a lot, of, a lot of people took a look at it, saw something that seemed uh, sort of clunky and confusing, and probably just kept a distance from it, and hesitated to cover it at any length. And since I've spent the time acclimating to its admittedly confusing UI and uh, sometimes um, difficult to comprehend and understand uh, functionality and menus and everything. Um, once I made it past all that and actually got to the point where I could understand um, how the game actually functions and plays and the gameplay aspects of it and stuff, I am absolutely enthralled with it. I like it and I really hope that my enjoyment of it and my coverage of it uh, leads some of you guys to check it out for yourselves and enjoy it as well and hopefully earn this game um, a, I'll assume probably fairly small However, I hope committed and niche audience uh, that can help keep it alive for some time to come. Uh, so look forward to a few more episodes on this in likely the near future here on the channel. So I'm Kinsmark here at Lesson Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.